this foundation literally has TikTok in a chokehold. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. <laughs> This foundation literally has TikTok in a chokehold, okay? And I'm saying that as nicely as I possibly can. I never heard of this brand. They did send me this super glowy, super gel, but the foundation never came. That's a bit suspicious, okay? I had to go on the Sephora website and I used the Shade Finder tool. The Shade Finder said that my shade was number 35. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to be trying out the Say. I, I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> say, say. I hope I'm saying it right. This is the Say Glowy Super Skin Lightweight Luminous Foundation. I know, luminous foundation. My skin is already as glowy as it possibly can be. We're gonna use a mattifying base if it matches. Now on the Say website, it says the Glowy Super Skin Foundation is 85% a skincare serum, 15% weightless pigments, and 100% best skin ever. Their lightweight luminous serum foundation provides true to skin, medium buildable coverage, and is packed with clinically tested skincare ingredients for visibly hydrated, plump looking, and brighter skin. Skin, okay. I love skincare, like if you can't tell, we are a skincare queen. It says that their hypertasking breathable formula contains a proprietary hydro bounce complex for skin improvement benefits and weightless pigments that blends with skin's outermost barrier for a freshly applied look all day. The result is hydrated weightless coverage that will make you forget you're wearing foundation at all. From what I gather from the description, the lightweight description is how the foundation feels not necessarily the foundation coverage there are 36 shades and the sephora shade matching tool matched me to the shade number 35 looking at the pictures it looks like 36 would be very deep and that 35 may possibly match my skin tone. Let's go ahead and swatch. Well, I'm gonna shake it very well I don't want that to be any miscommunication between me and this foundation okay Um, guys, it, it looks like a drop of my skin. Oh my God. Oh, honey, this is my skin in a bottle. Are you seeing this? Like, are you seeing this? I was, I was doubting, like, it's happened to me before, okay? Like, the shade didn't look okay, and I thought that it wouldn't match, but... I'm gonna eat my word. Say you have done that, okay? I'm gonna say no more and just say myself right out of here, okay? I'm gonna set my skin with the Milk Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. And then I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this foundation. Ooh, it's gonna drip, drip, drip. It's very fluid. Oh my God, it is dripping down my face. Okay, let's go ahead and blend it in. Because I like deeper foundations after I put everything else on top of this, I know that it's gonna look phenomenal. I mean, this is what it looks like. It's not bad. I'm using the It's Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer. Truth be told, this is the first time I have been able to use use a product from its cosmetic definitely lightweight it blends amazingly nicely and i like it my skin is glowy it's not oily it's not like so glowy that i feel like i'm gonna need um to set my whole entire face but it's definitely radiant it's given me it's giving me flawless skin i'm gonna first blend it out with my concealer brush before we go in with the sponge because it's such a lightweight concealer it might get lost in the sauce plus also i can control with a brush. Now this is the Sephora Collection Pro Concealer Brush number 71. I love this thing. It has a nice angle to it so it can fit around very tight corners. This is how the concealer blended out. Very beautiful. I'm using a slightly lighter concealer shade. It's not that much brighter. We're gonna dry it down a bit before we go in and blend it. It looks really nice. I'm gonna use the butt of the sponge where we used to blend our foundation. 
We're gonna blend the edges of this concealer out. I have been ignoring our Benai chestnut or nutmeg powder. I can't remember which one it was. I haven't used it in so long. I feel like I just abandoned it for the MAC Invisible Powder. But because of how neutral this foundation is, I need something warm to like balance it out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going in with a Benai nutmeg setting powder. We have Van Gogh tea. I like it because it has cheese foam. The cheese foam just adds a little extra to it. If you're having brown sugar tea and you haven't had cheese foam on it, I, I really can't help it. It's, it doesn't taste the same. I just went over with a little bit of the Benai Dolce. The rest of my face is glowy, I know, but boba tea, I don't like boba, so there's no boba in here. For contour, we're going in with Made for Shade in the shade D. It's just a slight bronzer contour moment. And this is the Maven Beauty Contour Fan Brush. Okay, let's go ahead and set everything. This is my finished look, trying out this Say Super Glowy Foundation. That's not what it's called. <laughs> glowy super skin foundation my skin doesn't look bad at all the foundation is perfect i was gonna say that it was too dark of course when it's all over my face it looked like it was too neutral but knowing that i'm gonna put other things on top of the foundation definitely looks good like i i am impressed with it like i absolutely love what it looks like it is a glowy foundation so i had to put like a ton of mattifying products on top of it so that it can stay and look as good as possible for as long as possible and because of that i'm not going to do a wet test because i feel like it's not going to be fair to this product if you have oily skin and you know how to make glowy or hydrating foundations work for you i will absolutely say that you should try it because they did go deep with the shades and i am happy about that i'm very excited about that like i did not expect it to go as deep as it did i'm impressed okay so that being said thank you so much for watching love you lots and i'll see you in my next video bye